begin with that fire on Nightcast. Good evening. I'm Stephanie Gorin. And I'm George Malley. Nobody was injured in that fast moving fire, which remains under investigation. A significant turnout of fire departments answered the call around 3 this afternoon. WPTC's Robin Estabrook is in Essex tonight. She joins us live at the scene of today's fire. Robin. Well, Stephanie, the fire happened right at this house, and the first two 911 calls were actually from students. They saw the fire when they were riding the bus home from school. Before his lacrosse game on his way home from school, eighth grader Sam Foster got quite a sight. I looked over at this house, and it was the back was engulfed in flames. It was pretty crazy. And I told our bus driver to stop, and then I just called 911. He says he got out of the bus to describe what he was seeing to the emergency dispatcher. He then captured the incident on video. He can't believe the damage done to his neighbor's home. I always look at the back when we're going by because the house is really pretty. And then the one time I look back, it's just burning, and I'm, I was pretty shocked. Essex Fire Chief Charles Cole says it looks like the flame started underneath the porch in the back of the house. We have investigators on their way from the state to help us determine what may have happened. Uh, the fire spread into the house and up into the roof rafters for both the uh, lower part and the upper part above the garage. But firefighters don't know how the fire started. We're looking at all options. There's nothing that looks like suspicion or a criminal intent, uh, but we are looking to see what may have been underneath the deck. And then we're talking to the homeowners of what they recall there, and then we're going to look around at the evidence that may be there. As for Foster, he's glad he reported the fire, but he was hoping for a different outcome. I wish I could have done more because I saw it when it was just starting. And I wish I could have done more to save the house. Now, firefighters say they had to be careful when going inside because they were afraid the roof might collapse on them. Live in Essex, Robin Esbrook, WPTZ News Channel 5.